see the letter I in a word and not sure how to pronounce it? Let's take a closer look. Hey guys, this is Jeff with Fluent American, and again, we're taking a look at words that just have the letter I. Now, the letter I can appear with other combinations with like IE or like IA or things like that, um, but we're just going to be focusing on the letter I by itself and what that can mean for pronunciation. Let's start off with the most common sound. It will be the short I, like in words like little, little, or list, list. For the short I sound, a couple of things you need to remember. Your mouth is not super open, a little bit open to let some air through, but it doesn't have to be super, super wide. The middle of your tongue you want raised, so lift the middle of your tongue. And then the front of your tongue is down and the back of your tongue is down. Lastly, the sides of your tongue can touch your top teeth. So again, on the sides of your tongue, left and right, you can touch your top teeth up here. So again, make some contact. It's almost like you're biting the sides of your tongue very gently. Eh, eh. Again, like little, little, or list, list, hit, hit, this, this. These are all possible words that can make the short I sound. If you want some more information about it, be sure to check out our other short I videos. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Oftentimes the I can also be reduced into a schwa sound. Take a look at this word, ability, ability. Now there's lots of I's here, but if you take a look at the third I, the third I, abila, abila, that gets reduced into like a schwa. So what you're doing with the schwa sound is you're relaxing everything. Relax your lips, relax your tongue, raise it just a little bit. And again, it should sound like, uh, uh. Notice again, my mouth is not very wide for this. It's very relaxed. Uh, uh, abila, abila, ability, ability. Again, this is gonna happen when the stress does not fall on the letter I. So now you can take a schwa type sound. It's also okay though if you pronounce it with a short I. So for instance, if you say ability, ability, instead of ability, ability, that's fine too. There's not really a big difference between them. People understand you. And even if, especially if you're emphasizing the word, it'll come off perfectly fine. If you're looking for daily exercises and feedback for your pronunciation, check out our Patreon page. By contributing $5 a month, you can join our Telegram group where you get daily exercises and feedback. The sound that the letter I often gets confused with is like the long I sound or like E, E. The letter I doesn't actually make this sound very often, but there are a couple of examples. Probably one of the biggest examples is the word pizza, pizza. So it's not pizza, it's pizza. Long I sound here. It's again, very rare for the letter I by itself to make a long I, but it is possible, again, like in the word pizza. To make that long I sound, your mouth is mostly closed and you're raising the middle of your tongue very high. E, E, pizza, pizza. So again, you're blocking air with the middle of your tongue to get that E type sound. Another pretty minor sound that the letter I can make is I, I, like the pronoun, I, I. Now the I is a dip song, so that means there's gonna be some movement. You're gonna start with your mouth wide and your tongue relatively low. I, ah, ah, ah. And then you're gonna close your mouth. I, I. What that does when you close your mouth, because your tongue is attached to your lower jaw, that's going to raise your tongue. So like what you're gonna find is that the middle of your tongue, even the front a little bit, gets higher. So it starts wide, ah, ah. And then it ends with an E, E, I, I. If you just see a letter I by itself, no vowels or anything around it, these are the most common sounds that the letter I will make. 